Transmitter in the networking. Well, in the following so in the following few minutes, allow me to introduce to you the most important element in the network: optical fiber. Well, we can illustrate this with an idea of a ball bouncing between two parallel walls. When light travels inside an optical fiber, it will move just like a ball bouncing from one side of the wall to the other side of the wall and continuously until we reach the receiver. Okay, but do you know how do we call this kind of uh, movement of light? This is the principle of total internal reflection, TIA. Well, let's look at this diagram for further discussion of TIA, TIL, sorry, TIL. When light passes through from a medium, uh, for example, glass, to another medium, for instance, air. The reflected light in the air will bend away from this normal light, as you can see here, right? Clearly. Okay, but when the light in the glass, uh, the angle keeps increasing, can you guess what happened in of this reflected light in the air? Well, can you guess? Well, I see someone so smart got the answer right in the front. The reflected light will not travel in the air no longer, but instead it will bounce back into the glass like this. This is the total internal reflection, TIR. So after having the idea of the principle, let's relate it back to the optical fiber scenario. Now suppose I'm a light beam from the center inside an optical fiber. And these are the two parallel walls. So I will start at a very large angle away from the normal line. And I'm moving to this direction, right? And hit the boundary. Do you know what will happen to me? Do you know? Because the angle of the starting angle is very large enough. So according to the total internal reflection, I will be bounced back to the other side of the wall and continuously until reach the receiver, right? And indeed, optical fiber is very important to our daily life in terms of speed and capacity. Finally, I would like to remind a very famous person who uh, contributed greatly to the development of optical fiber, Professor Gou Kuan, who is also known as the father of fiber optic communications. Thank you. <laughs> 